Morgan Tracy J coming today with the very first ministry vlog. I'm so excited to be doing this. This is our very first episode of the ministry vlog. And in this video, I am just going to be showing you the behind the scenes of the ministry that I run. If you don't know, I am the founder of His Daughter's Closet Incorporated. It's a woman's empowerment ministry where I encourage women and youth through the word of God from faith to plot to purpose to your fashion and all that. And I have a blog all about it. And so you can be sure to click the link in the box to figure out all about my blog. And I sell products and we do outreach projects and stuff like that. And so that's all for the little spiel on ministry. I've been running my blog for two years now. And it started off just as a fun website and it turned into this ministry and my YouTube channel ties into it. And I honestly, I love it. I, I adore it, okay? And so um, it's like my home away from home. I love it. And so in this video, I'm just gonna show you the background of how ministry vlogging and ministry goes, man. Cause it's not all glamorous. It's not always on a stage talking. And uh, it's very rarely that. It's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes. And so that's why I wanna show you guys. So today I'm gonna be doing a lot of work from home. However, I do need to go out and send off a few packages. And I also need to get a lot of stuff set up here. So, and I have the four conference calls today. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna take you guys on the journey with me. Hey guys, it's my very first day recording my ministry vlog. It's gonna go up next week and I'm gonna kinda of just show you guys some behind the scenes of how to run a ministry and how I run my ministry and how it's not all beautiful, okay? Real talk, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time at the computer. <gasps> hey there, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. I got this shirt at Ross, it's just a simple, it's kinda of wide neck and I love that about that. It's like kinda of wide. off the shoulders with it you know if someone was interested in that but I like it on the shoulders <clears throat> and also this bag even though this is a summer bag I got it from a trash though and I think it still kind of goes with the vibe of the shirt so this right here will be my outfit for today and then um, just some simple gold some simple brown sandals because it's still warm here in Oklahoma that's my outfit of the day however I'm not gonna be going anywhere right now I've got to do a little bit more work on here I've got to get some packages ready because I got to go send those out and I need to get the YouTube faithfully course a little bit together and so let's go so the first thing I usually do is I like to go check my email um, checking my email just allows me to stay updated and I do run a course right now and I'm about to start running two courses and so usually it's the course so some people have issues with the course customer assistance, uh, stuff like that. And also I do check in on my team members. Um, and right now I only have one and her name is Ashley. Uh, you've probably seen her in the Pinky Promise vlog. Uh, and so I just kind of check on her and see like, if there's anything we need on the website, stuff like that. Just let her know, like approve this person, you know, stuff like that. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. And so I'm gonna be on my computer probably for at least the next hour to two hours. Okay, something I do every day is I have a set time right around 12 o'clock. I decide to post in our groups and I try to post on social media and all that. And so I'm about to do that right now. Just make some posts because I think it's necessary, um, especially when you're running a ministry. You know, you wanna engage with people. I also sent that email already this morning to the women in the course. So there's just little things like that that you have to do just about every few days. So Fridays are pretty busy for me because it's like the end of the week. It's like my last day to get a lot of stuff done. Because um, I usually like to study on the weekend and so I'm eating Pop-Tart for breakfast. Oh God. It's so bad. But I heat it up for like five seconds and it's just warm. I don't like it hard and crunchy. Back to work. Hey. <clears throat> Praise report. So I don't know if you guys know, but I moved to a new city and since I've been here, I could not find a job. I've literally applied to like 10 places, went on a few interviews, just could not get a job. And so I applied for like a little smart time, smart time. 
a little part-time job and um, it's working with, in the school district that I love working with kids kids and so I was like hopefully I get it well they called me back and they told me pretty much you can't get it a job by schedule and the hours that I can only work conflict with theirs and so that kind of sucked however they said but we offer you this other job it's not necessarily part-time you can even work up to 40 hours a week but you choose your own hours so y'all I'm just so blessed right now like and I know a lot of people are real big on work, work, work for yourself, work from home, work from your for yourself. And I love that. I like working for myself, but I also love my other gifts and my other passion. I love kids. I want to work with kids. And so um, I don't always think the answer is work for yourself, okay? Because when you work for yourself, you put a big need, you put a big push on your content. And so sometimes you're not so creative because you're stressed about finances. And I always realized that once I got me a job, back when I first was doing ministry on my own, but when I got me a job, it was like I've got to just have freedom in my ministry again because it, it took the weight of I need to make finances. Like, okay, the ministry's good, but I need to like, and it, it, it does take time away from the ministry. However, that's where your discipline has to come into play. And that's where you're planning and you know you gotta really structure your days. And so I'm getting a new job, y'all. I'm so grateful. I'm just so ready to start and start working with kids. And also to have extra finances coming in um, that I actually work for um, on my own time and that's just extra money to build you know and that's residual income and that is powerful I feel like you want different forms of income coming in because that's gonna bless you and that's gonna help you bless others so the more blessed that I am I get to bless the ministry even more I'm the founder of this so I'm the one putting most money into this okay and so with that being said is you always have to realize that most likely you're gonna be the one investing a lot of time money and resources into your ministry in the beginning and I've literally invested every from the laptops and camera to to the, the website hosting to uh, order packages everything I have invested in me and so with that being said is it's great when you get a little job because then that job can be your money you're like I'm excited like, but then you can pick and choose when you want to invest it into your ministry and when you can't afford to and I love that and also to think that like you can build on multiple incomes that's amazing and the truth is it's okay to have money it's okay to flourish and be prosperous um, and I have to tell myself that all the time because you grow up and you you know when you start ministry you struggle and you know you struggle and I'm not gonna lie it is all it's not always beautiful I'll be struggling sometimes I'll have like $750 and I'm like Lord where am I gonna get my next 350 from to pay the rent or where am I gonna get this to pay the remainder of my rent you know I'll have questions like that and so it's not always beautiful, guys. So I would encourage you, if you are running a ministry, have a job because you're gonna realize the difference. Like your, your, your ministry is like a great place to be, but you also will take the stress off of the ministry to provide for you and your family or anything. And you will actually just get to run it freely. And so, um, yeah, I just thought I would say that real quick and now I gotta get back to work. I'm editing one of my eBooks for the YouTube Faithfully course. And that course is gonna be dropping very soon. And I'm showing women how to launch a website and I'm showing them all the things that I wish I would have done in the beginning and when I finally started to do it I started to see growth and so I'm sharing that through the ebook and I'm sharing that in the course I'm showing you how to create your channel art create your name how to just do so many things that you need to learn how to do with YouTube and the course is really cheap because I really want a lot of women to get on this because I believe and I know that YouTube has the potential to put your vision out there into front of an audience that can help change your life okay guys I'm, I know, I know, because God told me to do it, I did it, and I'm sitting here today. So, the, the, the results are in the pudding, and I'm still working towards it. So, um, this is what I want to say real quick. I'm going to get back to my work. work here um, and I did worked on my YouTube faithfully ebook with my editor it's all done now now we have to design it but I have some ideas and so I always put my recorder on my cell phone and I just kind of record my ideas that tie into anything that I'm working on and so I'm about to do that and then we're gonna get going all right let's keep going To work on the YouTube Faithful ebook. I just edited it with my editor. Let me show you the covers thus far. 
<clears throat> that is the cover so far. Can you guys see that? All right, guys, this is what I'm working on the YouTube Faithfully cover, and I have just worked with my editor. It's all edited, the ebook, so we are good to go. And now it is time to start working on the ebook. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next hour. Also, pro tip, something I love to do, which I said it on my Insta story, is I always, sorry, sorry guys. So what I always do is when I'm about to start working, I go ahead and sometimes I put my phone on airplane mode. That's what I'm studying. But when I'm working and I know I got a real big project to get done, I go to my phone, I go to timer, and I usually put it for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so what I do is I put a timer on for like 30 minutes, and then I click start and it starts counting down. And what it does is it goes off in 30 minutes and so for that 30 minutes I have to work the whole time. So I better start working. Hey. So guys, I just finished 30 minutes of working on my ebook. Let me show you what we got done for 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you this is why I believe in the timer. Start with the design process for page one. Here we go. We got our contents. Stuff we still need to be put in. I'm just kind of getting my layout. And this is the words from me. This is the first tip. Don't waste time. And now we're getting into the second tip. So that's as far as I got. Hey, hey guys, well, I finished a little bit of the ebook. I did it for one hour, so two 30 minute sessions, but now I have less than an hour to get to the post office and get two packages sent out. So we gotta get in turbo speed. So we have to pack our package cutely. I am real crazy about packaging. So we are sending a worthy workbook out. And so we're gonna get that together. one for my prayer leader and then one for a really a great friend from years ago who just believed in my ideas and my visions and I told her I wanted to send her a package so I sent her something but now I am home headed home walking up the stairs and guys it's like my meeting is at 3 and I'm pretty sure it's 301 so I kind of got lost trying to find the post office and then the person in line in front of me had like a whole bunch of stuff so let's get ready go Okay, it's 3.03. So, I am. Oh, I made it. Okay, and the biggest one that we gotta focus on is we said you feel like you don't have the go ahead by God. That is a big one yeah. that we had to focus on. And I will always say that there's many seasons where I did not have the go ahead, but I had the idea. And sometimes the idea is the go ahead. Uh -huh. The idea is go ahead. That's yeah. why I'm giving it to you. Go ahead, you know. <laughs> so, uh, hey guys. Well, I took you on the day with me on the ministry vlog. And let me just tell you guys, it's not easy to vlog, okay? I realize that. It is not easy, but I got it done. Thank you, Jesus. And I hope you guys got encouraged and inspired. So if you're a woman who ever wants to start her own ministry and start to even do a YouTube ministry, I want to just encourage you to go for it, girl, because all it comes with is discipline. And I always say, if you just do something one day, one thing every day towards your dream, eventually it will be, it will come into fruition because you have made it a habit to go after your dream. Okay, boo? So I want to encourage you today that, hey, comment down below and let me know what you thought about this ministry vlog. 
Was it boring? Was it like, eh? Did you love it? Let me know, okay, so I can get some feedback. And um, I enjoyed it. It was a little challenging, I ain't gonna lie, but I enjoyed it. So guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other content for more personal content from me.